Domestic violence is a very interesting word for me. Um, and it's in two parts. Um, domestic. Uh, it's a very warm word. Um, I have seen the usage of that word in many ways. Many of my friends who've, um, who've been roaming around, uh, we say that you know, he is now getting married and getting domesticated. The sense of belonging, the sense of environment, the sense of protection, the word domestic. And violence, we all know, is completely in opposite. So domestic violence are actually two polarly opposite words, which actually shows the trauma of, of that word. A place where you have, it's your final bastion, a place where it's a protection, a place where you are at your most comfortable best is the place where the heinous act of violence is happening. This is what I understand from the word domestic violence. Specifically, I have seen it happening to women because they being the most vulnerable and uh, invariably the man in the house, uh, it, could be, uh, it could be a husband, it could be a father, it could be a father-in-law. I have seen, of course, domestic violence also in the other way also. I have seen men being completely trivialized by, by different kind of, uh, from the other sex also. But in all in all, I think the percentage is very less compared to what women go through as domestic violence. Mm. So this is what I And this whole campaign of Bel Bajao for me actually was a great answer to what I was looking at. Is the whole thing of just going and ringing the bell so that at that moment it just breaks. And I think it's those moments which you can break is what can solve the thing. And of course, I think that is the... One chatka answer to stopping domestic violence. At the end of it, I think it's it's empowerment of the women or their bell bajao.